Happy New Year, fellas. It is New Year's Day, so that means it's time for some New Year's resolutions. Casey, you're going to focus on a couple of teams that have underachieved so far this season and tell us what resolution they need to make in order to live up to expectations. Let's start with 8-4 and four Villanova. Yeah, Jay Wright's squad, they have to establish an inside scoring presence. Lab, you and I both know that Villanova loves to shoot threes, but in order to do that most effectively, they need to play from the inside out. And in their last two national championship teams in 2016 and 2018, they were one of the best in the country at shooting inside the yard. Look at these numbers and where they ranked. They were top three three in the nation in shooting inside the arc. And yeah, they could bomb me from the outside too, but they were tough to guard. This year is a totally different story. Just 48%, and look at the ranking. It's well below average compared not just in the Big East, but in the entire country. And we know that they're an unorthodox team when it comes to post-play lap. They like to post their guards, Colin Gillespie and Justin Moore. Justin Moore's got to be a little bit better. He's only um, uh, 35% in his post-isolation shots this year. So if he can be more efficient, that'll certainly help. Yeah, I mean, big picture the headline is life without Jeremiah Robinson Earl has made things very difficult for Villanova tough to replace someone like that uh, that influenced the game offensively and defensively but Eric Dixon the last two games 15 points continuing to blossom and develop his development from here to March critical all right let's talk about Kentucky much improved from last year when uh, they've only lost two games this year, but they're still in search of that true signature win and that strength of schedule, just 307th in the country. Casey, what do the Wildcats need to do? They need to find another three-point shooter, and that seems to be an Achilles heel for John Calipari's Kentucky teams. Even the ones that make Final Fours are really talented. I like this team a lot. They do everything well except shoot the three. Now, they do have Kellen Grady's been incredible, and Ty Ty Washington's a freshman who has also lit it up. But then, Lab, there is a huge drop-off after that, and I'm thinking, you know, in the SEC, Kentucky, I think it's one of the best conferences in the country. If you only have two shooters on your roster, teams like LSU defensively, Tennessee, they're going to be able to take those guys away. That's what I'm a little bit worried about as they get deeper in the schedule. Well, there's no doubt today three-point shooting is so critical. If you look at the trends, the way it's changed basketball, and so for Kentucky in particular, three-point shooting a factor because they have the best low post presence in the country in Shibwe, and teams are going to blanket him, drop in on him, and you've got to be able to make them pay from long distance, stretch opponents' defenses to give more time and space for Shibwe to go to work down low. Besides Grady and Washington, Davion Mintz, the only other player on the roster who's made more than six three-pointers, to your point. All right, Michigan ranked fourth in the nation just six weeks ago. Now they're seven and five, coming off that double-digit loss to UCF. Your New Year's resolution for the Wolverines case. This is the most obvious one. Make open shots. I, I know it sounds like, duh, but this is a huge problem for Michigan. Look, you know, in the half-court lab, just catch and shoot, right? Look at these numbers. Wide open shots, they're shooting just 35%. And in the weirdest stat I have seen yet this year, Lab, they're shooting significantly better when they're guarded, when they're contested. That doesn't make any sense to me, but this is a Michigan team who has seven foot one Hunter Dickinson to throw the ball down low to. He's a beast on the block. He's a willing passer. So Michigan guards are going to have opportunities to make wide open shots. So guys like Eli Brooks, Caleb Houston, the freshman, Brandon Johns, they got to make shots. Or Michigan, they're already in trouble right now, but it's going to be an uphill climb in the Big Ten.